Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read this problem, try and solve it on your own, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Now, I really like this problem. I don't like how wordy it is. I didn't mean to write so much here, but I think it's interesting because we have an actual pizzeria menu. That's what we're dealing with right here. And I added some arbitrary rules to the menu that aren't listed out, but I added those rules so we can consider how many different types of orders there can be. So for this pizzeria, let's look at it. Uh, there are, it allows its customers to get small, medium, large, or Sicilian pizzas. You can see that right here. Here's our four sizes in eight or 16 slices. So I don't know if you can see that on the menu. I don't see it listed, but you can get eight or 16 slices. So that's two choices there. And there's four choices for size. And then you can get toppings on a whole pizza or half pizza. So toppings you can get on whole or half and okay so whole or half and no double or triple ordering is allowed and that that's a modification so i focused this menu saying you can order pepperoni but not double pepperoni now there are three people here greg and sarah and beth and they're ordering pizza together they all have different rules about what they want to order how many different types of orders are we dealing with here so let's count them so we'll start with greg uh greg wants to buy a large pizza with some amount of regular toppings on the whole pizza. He isn't sure if he should get eight or 16 slices. So I'm gonna keep track of this right here. So for Greg, right, we know he wants to buy a large pizza. So for size, keep track of this. For size, there's only one choice for Greg. He knows what size he wants. And he knows that he's not sure about the slices. Slices, is it eight or 16? He's got two choices. And then he knows he wants some amount of regular toppings. It's right here. There's 11 of them. So for every topping, pepperoni, mushrooms, and so on and so forth, he would say yes or no. I do want it or I don't want it. So that's two choices for each topping. right? So for, his, for him, for toppings, he's, he's got two choices 11 times. So that's two to the 11th choices. And that includes no toppings at all because if he says no to every topping, he's not going to get anything on the pizza. And this is tied together by the fundamental counting principle, and that tells us how many toppings he wants, uh, how many total choices Greg faces. Now we move on to Sarah. Okay, so Sarah, you know, just like every person that walks into a pizzeria has different things they want. She isn't sure what size pizza she wants, right? What size? So there's four choices. So for her, there are four choices for size. For slices, she wants eight slices. Okay, she knows what she wants there. What about toppings? For toppings, she wants to order exactly three of the gourmet toppings. That's right here. There are six of them. So choosing any three of those six, that's six choose three, right? The order of her choices don't matter, just which three toppings she picks. And finally, we go to Beth. Beth wants to get a medium pizza with 16 slices. Okay, so for, so for Beth, so far, things are going well. She knows she wants the size, medium, and she knows how many slices she wants. But for toppings, let's see what she wants. She isn't sure if she should get the toppings on the whole pizza or half the pizza. And she wants, it says, up to two gourmet toppings. So gourmet toppings are back in this category. There are six of them. She wants up to two. So what does that mean? She can get zero gourmet toppings. Okay, so I'm going to list that out right here. So when she's looking at six toppings, she can get none of them, right, six, two, zero. Or she could look at the six toppings and say, I want just two of them. There's different ways she could do that. Or she's look at all six toppings and say, I want all three of them. So she can make any of these choices. And she isn't sure if she should get them on the whole pizza or half the pizza. Now, I saw, I've seen students solve this, and there's just so many ways to interpret this. Let me, let me show you what I think this means. Let's scroll down. So for her, I'm going to draw red for pizza. My interpretation of this is that she either is viewing the pizza as a half pizza, and if she's viewing it as a half pizza, that she's asking herself on half that pizza, right? So she's not, so I'm going to just, just for a moment draw this in black here. There's no toppings on this side. There's nothing there. So she's not even considering putting anything on that side. So this, is, this has to be zero toppings. She's only considering, should I put toppings on it on the other side? And if the answer is yes, should I put none of them, keep it entirely plain? 
And so, should I keep it plain? Or should I put one topping? Or should I put two toppings? That's her first consideration. Or she's looking at the pizza as a whole. And as a whole, she's saying, should I put no toppings? Or one topping? Or two toppings? What should I do there? So that means the way I'm viewing this, and you could have viewed it a different way. I would have honored that. Is that she first, I'm going to use a tree right here. She looks at a whole pizza or a half pizza. That's her two choices. How am I how am I gonna place the toppings? And then if I place it on the whole or the half, right, what am I doing there? Am I getting no toppings or one topping or two toppings? No one or two. Now it's not six really. This looks like a tree for six because there are actually more possibilities than just one here. There are actually six, right? This is six choose one, which is six. This is just one. It's only one way to do that. But for six choose, oops, for six choose two, this doesn't represent just one choice. This two right here. It represents six twos choose two choices, which is six over two, and four factorial, which is six times five over two, which is 15 choices. So 15 plus six plus one, that's uh, 22 choices here, and 22 choices there. And two choices to begin with. So it's 2 times 22. That's 44 choices. Oops, let me keep the color consistent. Green. Okay, so again, you're choosing whole or half. That's two choices. And then for each of those, there are 22 choices of ways, 22 ways, excuse me, to order up to two toppings. Where you can get 1 or 6 or 15 uh, different combinations. So that's 44. Now, altogether, let's assume they're all placing one order together. What's going to happen? Well, we multiply these things. The amount for Greg times the amount for Sarah times the amount for Beth. And I'll just do that in a calculator. I can't pull it up right now on the screen. Sorry. So it's 2 times 2 to the 11th. I'm going to ignore the 1s. For Greg, it's 2 times 2 to the 11th. So it's 2 to the 12th times 4 times... 6 choose 3 times 44. So we get a number here. We get, here's our final answer, 144179920. So 14,417,920. Whew, that's a lot of combinations. All right, hope that helped.